Well, Portland's biggest annual party gets underway this Thursday on the 4th of July. For more than 30 years, the Portland Waterfront Blues Festival brings in world class musicians, many of whom call Portland home. And Kim Body now shows us how this blues festival has really become the granddaddy of Portland summer festivals in this week's Where We Live. More than 100 performances, thousands of fans crowding Waterfront Park. The Waterfront Blues Festival recognized as one of the best in the world. Well, see, music is that vehicle that makes people smile. It makes people dance and move, and they don't know why. Portland blues man Norman Boogie Cat Sylvester has played blues festivals since the beginning. It started in 1987 as the Rose City Blues Festival, sponsored by the Cascade Blues Association. Local standouts, including Curtis Salgado, Lloyd Jones, and Sylvester, joined national headliner John Lee Hooker. And it was for uh, food uh, to feed the hungry, and um, it was a one day just great event. The festival was an instant hit, continuing the mission to collect food for the hungry. Food collected at the gate this year will go to the Sunshine Division. While Blues Fest brings in national artists, Portland's abundant local talent is prominently featured. That includes singer Arietta Ward, daughter of the late legendary keyboardist Janice Marie Scroggins, who played many blues festivals. It's just something about Portland. There's always been a town for music. It's always been that way. Artistic director Peter Damon books the musicians and has for most of the festival's history. Blues is, is at the core of American music. Rock and roll came from the blues. Every rock guitar solo has its roots in T-Bone Walker and B.B. King. The Waterfront Blues Festival, helping to cement Portland's creative reputation and a great way to spend every 4th of July weekend. It's a party. It's a big party at the waterfront. Ken Boddy, Coin 6 News. It's going to be my first Blues Fest. I oh, can't wait. Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. I'm yeah. so excited. Well, over the years, the Waterfront Blues Festival has raised more than $10 million and a thousand tons of food. Robert Cray and Trombone Shorty are among the headliners this year. So be sure to tune in on Thursday night for the 4th of July fireworks special right here on Coin 6. It starts at 10 and we'll also stream that on Coin.com. We have much more information on the Waterfront Blues Fest at Coin.com. Yeah.